I knew I was going to be in education when my second grade teacher told my parents that I was never going to amount to much. So I decided I never want another student to feel the same way that I felt. And now I will only encourage and support my students. I knew that I wanted to be an educator when I met Dr. Mukherjee of Slippery Rock University. Dr. Mukherjee was a very enthusiastic professor in the physics department. She was able to take physics, a relatively hard subject, and make it so interesting in the classroom that I truly enjoyed learning. I knew from then on that I wanted to do the same thing for other students and to make science interesting, fun, and enjoyable. It was her enthusiasm and her influence that helped me decide to drop the pre-med program and to pursue a career in education. I knew I was going to be an educator when I walked into Mrs. Zimmerman's art class in high school and realized that it was the place that my soul calmed down and I could completely forget about the worries that I had in other parts of the building. <laughs> um, that art room was like like a big hug and I wanted to be able to provide that to other students. I wanted to share my passion for the arts and the belief that everyone can create and that everyone can be a problem solver and think of things in new ways. And um, after that, I filled out my application and I dedicated myself to becoming an educator and hope that I've been able to provide some of that to the students and teachers that I've served. So oh, I think I realized that I wanted to be an educator when I really actually started enjoying my speech classes and I wanted to get my point across to the others in the room and I just really came alive in the classroom. So to me, I think that that along with helping to tutor in college really gave me a good idea of what track I wanted to be on in life and that I wanted to be an educator. As long as I could remember, I enjoyed helping younger children learn new things. As soon as I was old enough, I was volunteering at the church nursery Sunday school and eventually youth groups. At age 11, I had my first babysitting job. In high school, I was part of the tutoring club and I used my study hall to help volunteer at the special education department. I just really enjoyed seeing students learn and feel more confident about themselves. When I went to college, I started off in early childhood education, but I was missing another area that I had grown to love over the years, and that was science. I loved learning about the environment, exploring new things, and experimenting. So I changed majors to biology. I eventually graduated with a degree in biology. It was at that point that I realized I could combine both of those things, so I went back to school for a master's in education and a certification in the area of science. And now I'm so happy that every day I get to do the two things I love best. I get to teach students science. <laughs>